Good morning everyone, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for coming back again to study with Peter. In our Hive series, this is going to be video 11 and we're going to see... It's going to be short, but I wanted to put it out there. How to search for an object, group and users in Active Directory. So, it's kind of pretty simple, but I don't want to miss this in this series. Just to put it out there, just in case you find it useful. So, once we log into our Active Directory, we want to go to Users and Computers, and you have this. You right click on your domain, and you click on Find. If you are working as a support engineer or you are working as an administrator in a very large company, you don't want to go, for example, you want to go through your computers and users organization unit to keep finding users. You want to come over here, find, and you can type, for example, I know the last name of the user, I type it. So that will actually give me the information about the user. Not only the user you can use this to find, you can do contact, group, computers, printer, share folder, OU, and you can actually go really wide about this and have your own custom queries. Something I find useful right here during my time is that if I'm looking for an object, and I couldn't find it in this domain. Most of the time, I just change this and go to the entire directory. But if you understand which environment you should be searching for that user, you can click on Browse, and that will provide you with a lot of information, and you can do it from here also. Most of the time, I've seen a lot of my friends using the entire directory, so it's very easy, at least it's going to bring everything so you don't have to keep browsing and looking for that in a different location and to be honest um you can use the advanced i've never used it before but it's just the same way you can search by city and these are actually used if you have a big i mean like a really really big active directory maybe for the government or something like that you can use this for your search. If you really know, or if you're trying to look for people in a specific, uh, or contact in a specific region, you can utilize this and you can search. So once you find the object you are looking for, uh, you can go here, address, accounts, and you can start looking for the properties of that user, if that is what you're looking for. All right. That is all about the find users and group right there. For change, let me add this to it. For change domain, it's not that much. You can browse and that will show a lot of domain that you have in your organization. So in my next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the domain functional level. And we're going to have some few conversation about that. So you don't want to miss that. To change the domain controller, in this domain, or in this forest, I only have one domain controller right now. So in the future, I'm going to add an additional domain controller, so we can actually change them and see how it works. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining this session today. This is what I have for you. In my next video, we're going to talk about the domain functional level, what it is, and you don't want to miss that. Thank you so much, and I see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.